All right, guys. So uh, I'm redoing uh, this video. Uh, last time I did it, I got I think three blue screens because of uh, well, I I don't even know why. So this is a very simple video. I'm gonna make it very short for you guys on how to create a 5PD server. I'm not talking about uh, uh, port forwarding and everything. So basically everything you do here, it's the same of if you want to do it with uh, zap hosting and whatever. Uh, this video is basically just to show you how to do it. If you don't know how to port forward, you can just go and search it in YouTube or you can wait for my next video. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do it on my next video, but I'm going to make a video about how to do it because it's very simple. We just uh, very repetitive, so something you're going to want to learn how to do. Right, um, we're going to start with the simple stuff, so we need to start the server. So we have uh, these two files, I got it uh, from this website, and uh, you have everything you need, you have on the 5M documentations, uh, I recommend go and check them out. All right, so uh, you're gonna start with the server.zip, uh, control A, and just paste it in the server. Very simple, nothing to worry about. All right, so now you got this one. Now you wanna take, uh, well, let me actually, let me actually create a new one. It's gonna call, uh, we're gonna call it, server server data and we're going to take the resources and just drag and drop them inside uh, here we're going to create so just so you know where we are so this is the main directory for the server and this is the uh, inside is the resources when you add something you add it here uh, basically let me just, I'm sorry if I'm sound a bit tired, I'm just uh, after a while trying to figure out what happened. Two blue screens, three blue screens in a few seconds. Alright, so this is going to be the server that CFG. Alright, uh, we're going to open this one. Let's hope, let's hope uh, we're not going to get another blue screen. So we're going to go to the server CFG. And we're gonna copy the example because we, we don't want to write it from scratch. And we're gonna go here, we're gonna paste it over here, and we're gonna rename our server. That's the first thing you want to do, I think. At least that's the first thing I want to do. Uh, if you want to make uh, the server name, uh, let's do server name. So if you want to do the server name with uh, some color or something like that, you're going to do in front, like before the, the yeah, you're going to do this one, the hat, the little hat, and you have, I think the numbers you have is two, uh, the number I numbers I use is two, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's the numbers, just figure out what's, uh, what's best for you. So um, let's do it like that, and then we're gonna do it white, and uh, you uh, let's do five PD, right? That's very simple, All right? So now we're gonna go. Uh, we need to uh, generate a license key. I already generated like a lot of them, so uh, I'm just gonna do it off screen because I. I don't want to bl start blaring everything. I'm, I'm already going to have to do it in the in the SQL file because we're going to we're going to do SQL file. Uh, I'm going to just disable the uh, the key after I upload this video. Uh, <laughs> damn it! Right? Copy, paste. Uh, don't forget to add those. There you go. Um, 
do not. Please do not. Right. Um, from now on, uh, the server is almost ready. Uh, we have one last thing we need to do, and is the starter for the server. How do you want to start the server? So we're gonna do start star starter that bat B A T. All right, and we're gonna edit. And here it's uh, we're gonna follow the example they gave us in the documentation. So that's the example they gave us on how it should be. So we're gonna paste it over here so we're gonna know what we're dealing with. Um, all right, so we have one with the server data and one without the server data, right? So we're gonna go and let's make it simple. Let's go with the server data, we're gonna copy. The, the location of the file, we're gonna paste it, then we're gonna go one back, we're gonna copy, and we're gonna paste it. Make sure you have the fx server.exe, um, not marked, right? There you go, it's very simple. You probably have a different directory, but it should work just fine. Uh, we're gonna start the server now just to make sure it's working because uh, I had a lot of crashes lately and um, yeah let's see it's, uh, if it's actually working all right no error so far all right great so the server is up now and all we have to do is start uploading the 5pd right All right, let's close the server. Don't need it for now. All right, so uh, now we're gonna go to the. So we we're done with those two. You can just you can just delete them. You don't need them. So we're gonna go. Uh, if you need all the links, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can go to. If you Google five P D, you're gonna find find them. If you Google five M, you're gonna see all the information you need. So we need those two files. So we're gonna just drag and drop them into the de into the desktop. Uh, yeah. All right. So, yep. I please stay organized. All right. Uh, let's go to the server data and then resources and then we're gonna add our first resource and it's gonna be the five PD. So we're gonna have to edit something from here, the config.json, and it looks like that. So that's the the root, that's your password, and that's the database. So I'm gonna show you how to create a database. First, you need the x a m p p. I'm not gonna link it. I'm I might try to link it, but I'm too tired of, to do it. Uh, so you're gonna install. This, uh, I think I already installed it, but it's it just, it's gonna help you. Uh, it's opening on my second monitor, so yes, okay. And then it looks like that. Next. Now, all you need, you don't need the files either. And you know, yeah, I don't think you need the Mercury. Uh, I don't think you need all of them, the effects and mail, but. Uh, you can just leave it, doesn't matter. Um, make it simple for you. Next. The selected folder is not empty, please. Okay, let's do just one. All right, next. All right. So we got ourselves uh, XAMPP and Right. It, it's just unpacking. I already have it on my computer. I just I want to make sure you can see it and uh, you, you can actually see how long it's going to take you to um, to create the server from scratch. Like I'm I'm not even on 10 minutes and we already have a server that's running and we already have the 5PD. So the 5PD is, uh, is a matter of seconds just to um, configure the uh, database and after you're done with the database you're basically done so after you uh 
after you finish with this one it's gonna open the the what is called the control panel for the SQL files for sorry for the databases yeah so uh God damn the corona is the corona is gonna hit you stupid computer finish like the next generation moms are gonna tell their children if they're not gonna eat the corona is gonna hit them Alright, so I was pretty sure it's gonna crash. Alright, let's start. Alright, it's opening on my second monitor. So, from here, alright, so we didn't need the Mercury. So I think we all, all, all we need is the Tomcat, the Apache and the MySQL. Uh, so I'm gonna start both of them. Alright. Let them start. All right, so it's very simple. I'm just gonna do admin, and here you have you have everything you need on your database. I'm not an expert. Sorry if you hear my uh, bit background noises. It's my cigarette. I smoke a lot. All right, so uh sql file you're gonna use them for ev everything in your life and i'm not an uh, expert in this it's just something you have to use it everywhere so first thing we're gonna do is add a uh, user accounts and we're gonna go down and add a user so our username is gonna be um uh, let's keep it simple it's gonna be uh Background music, background music. Yeah, so th this part I can I'm talking to myself in the video, so yeah, you're gonna have to listen to me singing you background music. Yeah, I think that's long enough. All right? Yeah, I know it's very weak. Don't tell me. All right, uh, we're gonna give it all privileges. Make sure to check this one, and we're gonna go. There we go. We're done. All right. So now we need to create a new database for you to work on. So we're gonna create a new database, and we're gonna call it Five PD. All right. There you go. Now I'm gonna go to the Five PD. I'm gonna press on on Five PD the database. And I'm gonna do import right now remember this file you didn't know what to do with uh, uh, this file the SQL file inside the zip yeah so you want this file you can do browse and go to the SQL file and open so now you see that's what it says cat right um, uh, go you see I got no errors if you got an error so you probably did something wrong right so it, it should it looks fine everything should be fine uh, now we're gonna go um, what happened to the server right uh, we're gonna go server data resources 5pd and config.json now the username we set All right, uh, password was very simple. The database was, I think, let me see. All right, so that's basically it. You're done. Just save the file. Make sure to go to your server CFG. And usually what I like to do is to mark the end of the essentials, like the 
the ensure all the the starts all the assets that came with uh, the server and I'm gonna start from here so let's do start and we're gonna start 5 PD all right uh, now before we uh, start the server to see if it works I want to add a few more things that will make our life easier so one of them is gonna be the vmani and one of them is gonna be some kind of a vehicle control it doesn't matter which one of them I use the LUX vehicle control uh, you can search it up in the release on the SFX X oh fuck I don't care all right so I'm not gonna config anything I'm just gonna copy the name go to uh, the config and do start and there you go and we're gonna go start and we're gonna start gonna start this one all right so this should ensure our life to be much easier right we're gonna start the uh, the server with the starter that bad uh, I'm gonna show you everything is what last time I got this one I got a blue screen too so let's hope our life is uh, it's not gonna be harder this time all right so I'm, I'm gonna open uh, 5m actually now I, I I hope if the server is gonna crash if my computer is gonna crash I'm gonna lose all the footage because uh, that's life and let's hope for the best.